Hi, this is Steve Wagner, and this is a brief lecture on leadership ethics. So what is ethics? Ethics comes from the Greek word ethos, which means customs or conduct or character. Ethics refers to standards of conduct that guides people's decisions and behaviors. Ethics are guided by moral values, people's fundamental beliefs regarding what is right and wrong, good and bad. Ethical theory goes back to the time of the ancient Greeks, Plato and Aristotle. They form systems of rules and principles that act as a guide for making decisions about what is right and wrong and good and bad. And it's a basis for understanding what a decent person does. So we can look at how ethics affects decision making. And we've got three different models that are represented here. Ethical egoism reflects the leader making decisions for his or her own good, not for the good of the group. Another perspective is utilitarianism. This is where the leader creates the greatest good for the greatest number. A CEO deciding to lay off a group of workers in order to sustain the profitability of the business for stakeholders and to maintain jobs for the majority of the workers would be a leader who is taking a utilitarian perspective. Finally, altruism is making decision for the best interest of others. Altruism is a selfless concern for the welfare of others. It's sometimes understood as giving more consideration to others than oneself. So pure altruism is giving re without regard to reward or the benefits of recognition. We can also look at ethics in terms of duty. What duties do you have? These focus on the obligations and the responsibilities that we have to do the right thing. W. D. Ross described a number of different duties that people have. One is beneficence, doing good for others. Another is non-malfeasance, avoiding harm to others. Other duties are justice, self-improvement, reparation, gratitude, promise-keeping. Again, as a leader, I'd like you to think about what are your duties, what are your obligations and responsibilities. Ethics can also refer to virtue. Virtues are the characteristics that are valued because they promote individual and collective well-being. And thus, virtues are good by definition. The opposite of virtue is vice. So character refers to who people are as people. And virtues can be thought of as good habits that can be strengthened through practice and training. There are many different virtues that have been recognized. Greek philosophers talked about justice, courage, wisdom, and moderation. So why is ethics important to leadership? Well, ethics has to do with what leaders do and who leaders are. They reflect the leader's behavior and whether the leader has virtuousness. Leaders have to make many decisions and the ethics that they hold by are implied or explicitly involved in these decisions. So the choices that leaders make and how they respond to the circumstances that face them should be informed and directed by their ethics. This isn't always easy. It seems like it should be clear, 
what is good what is bad just do the right thing but often we're faced with ethical dilemmas sometimes doing something good doing something right results in a bad outcome or negative results also sometimes doing something wrong or something bad results in a good outcome or positive results sometimes we have two different good things that are in conflict with each other and we can't achieve both of them sometimes we have to choose between the lesser of two evils what kind of ethical dilemmas do you face as a leader there are certain principles that we can look to that describe an ethical leader I'd like to discuss those with you first leaders should respect others certainly it's true that leadership is results oriented but leaders have to be careful to always maintain respect for others that means leaders should treat others as ends that is that individuals have their own inherent worth leaders also must avoid treating others as a means to an end that means that leaders should avoid using others to achieve their own personal goals so leaders should value people and treat them with this with respect they should allow others to be themselves with their own creative wants and their own desires leaders should approach others with a sense of unconditional worth and they should listen to others and be empathetic and be tolerant of opposing viewpoints a second principle of ethical leadership is that leaders should serve others because leadership is a process of influence determined by the relationship between the leader and the follower it's important that leaders understand that they have an obligation to serve others leadership is about achieving goals but not the personal goals of the leader leaders have a responsibility to pursue the group's goals and to safeguard the best interests of the group leaders should uphold their duty to help others and pursue their own legitimate group goals they should be stewards of the organization's vision and the organization's resources therefore they should clarify nurture and integrate the vision of the organization with the organizational members not for the organizational members leaders need to take responsibility to make decisions that are beneficial for their followers welfare and they need to mentor and empower others much of the leadership literature recognizes that one of the most important things that leaders can do is grow more leaders the third principle for ethical leadership is acting fairly leadership involves making decisions and all decisions should be based on some consideration of fairness there's different aspects of fairness that we need to consider one is distributive fairness this refers to how outcomes are allocated and there's different norms that we can use should resources be distributed equally so everybody gets the same amount should resources be distributed based on a norm of equity those who perform the best or have the most seniority getting the most resources or should resources be distributed based on need the individuals that have the most need get the most resources if you think about this you probably see that it really depends on the circumstances what circumstance do you think calls for a norm of equality what about equity 
what about need? Uh, another consideration for fairness is procedural fairness. This refers to the fairness in the process of making the decisions. And so to make a, a decision fair in process, leaders need to allow followers to voice their opinion. They need to apply rules in a consistent fashion. They need to use accurate information to make decisions. They should also implement practices that allow for the correction of mistakes. And they need to safeguard against biases. A final aspect of fairness that we should consider is informational fairness. How we communicate our decisions is also important. We need to explain our decisions and the logic behind them. We need to communicate in a timely manner and give people timely feedback. And we need to think about the individual needs to those that we are communicating and tailor what we say to different audiences. A fourth principle of ethical leadership is authenticity. Authenticity means being honest but also sensitive to the beliefs and attitudes of others. So leaders should tell the truth, but they need to have a balance of openness and candor while also monitoring what is appropriate to disclose in a particular situation. We should acknowledge and reward honest behavior in the organization. However, we need to be careful. We can't promise what we can't deliver. We can't suppress our obligations, and we should not evade accountability. The fifth principle of ethical leadership is building community. Pursuing a common good by searching our goals that are compatible for all stakeholders. An ethical leader strives to promote what is good for the community and to develop a community that pursues what is good. Ethical leaders develop a vision for the community by listening to followers about their needs, their values, and their ideas. Unethical leaders attempt to sell a personal vision as the only way for the community to succeed. Ethical leaders attempt to balance diverse interests with multiple stakeholders, while unethical leaders favor a certain party because they offer the leader the most benefits. So leaders should take into account the purposes of everyone in the group and be attentive to interests in the community and the community's culture. But leaders should not impose their will on others and ignore the intentions of others.